What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at this which is Lenovo's Idea Center Horizon. It's actually one of the coolest things we saw this past January at CES and finally we have one on hand. So let's just go ahead and check it out. So before we get into anything, let's talk about specs. Inside, you have an Intel i7 processor. You have an NVIDIA GeForce GT 620M. You have eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory, and you also have a one terabyte hard drive. So you're gonna have a lot of storage space. Included with that, you also have 802.11 BG and N networking, as well as Bluetooth 4.0. The Horizon does come with a wireless keyboard and mouse as well as some other gaming accessories which we'll check out in our actual usage video. But um, so, you know, with the keyboard and mouse, you can go ahead and use it just like you would a normal desktop. But of course, you have this very large screen. Of course, it is touch screen, um, you know, which works great with Windows 8. It is 10 finger touch as well. So, you know, you can be doing different things at once and playing different games that use multi-touch um, gestures and everything like that. So it is a very nice, um, um, touch screen and very responsive as well. The Horizon does feature a 27 inch display, so it is pretty large. It's one of the larger all in ones that we have seen. Um, you know, a lot of companies usually are sticking to around 23, 24 for their all in one. This is 27, so it's, you know, it is pretty large here. It is a full HD display, so that's 1920 by 1080 resolution. Around the bezel here, you do have some touch sensitive buttons. So on this far side here, you have volume up, volume down, brightness, input select, and screen rotation. So you can actually rotate the screen if you want to. On this far side, you have all these little activity LEDs here. So you have one for battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and this one is your hard drive activity. So you have all that stuff right there. And of course, up top here, you do have a 720p webcam. So, you know, with this, you can do things like Skype, video chat, all of that fun stuff. You can just use it to take pictures as well, um, right here, right on the top. If we take a look at the side of the horizon, you can see it's really not that thick. And that's just because, you know, this is a 27 inch screen, so it's pretty easy to fit all the components that you need, you know, behind the screen. And there's just a lot more room than, you know, on a 21 or 24 inch screen. Around the entire bezel of the LCD is this really hard, thick rubber. And what that actually is for is it's for two reasons. One, so, you know, if you're moving this around, you, you don't crack the screen. Nobody wants to do that. And two is, if you are moving it around on your desk, you're not going to go ahead and scratch up your desk either. So we're looking at the left side here and there's a single button on the left side and that is your power button right there. That is it on the left side. On the right side here, you have all of your connections. So you have your audio connections, headphone and microphone. You have a SD card slot. You have two USB 3.0 ports and you have HDMI in. HDMI in is great. It just makes this a multi-function device because you do have this beautiful 27 inch screen. So, you know, why not hook up, you know, your cable box, you know, your media player, your Xbox, something like that to this HDMI in. So, you know, if you're in a small space, maybe a small apartment or dorm room where you don't have a lot of space for different displays or things like that, this can be used as a multi-function device and you have your power connection right there. Now, as we're still looking at the side here, you can see we don't have the power connected right there. So with most all-in-ones, the system just wouldn't work without the power connected, but Lenovo has actually made this a tablet. So there's a battery inside. So what that means is, you know, you can see the power is not connected. The power cable is actually right over here uh, for those who wouldn't believe me. And you just go ahead and we'll turn it over here and you can see fully functional, um, you know, everything works just as it normally would if you had you know power connected so there is a battery inside so this is a fully fledged tablet of course nobody wants to be carrying around a 27 inch tablet but it, it just makes it so if you're somewhere that doesn't have power you know maybe you're out somewhere or you're going somewhere that just doesn't have power or the power goes out you still have functionality you know you can save all your things and then go ahead and shut the computer down just makes it that much easier and of course as you'll see when we get into some of the other things that this can do it makes the tablet aspect actually makes a lot of sense especially when it comes to playing games and you know using this as a gaming device
One thing I didn't mention about the Horizon is its actual weight. It weighs in about 18 pounds, so that's pretty heavy, and that's pretty heavy to be standing up on its own. So, of course, you have this very heavy duty and you know all metal stand right here. And what that allows you to do, not only does it hold up the display, but it allows you to fold the display down so you can have sort of a surface tablet. And I'll show you just how easy it is. It's really not that hard at all. Um, so all you have to do is just go like this and it just brings the whole thing down for you. And it's just as easy to bring back up. I'll show you that and you're ready to go. It's, it really is that easy. I, I'm not pushing that hard at all for this to go down. And again, we can put it right back up. That is that is one of the coolest things about this, I think, because so many you know display stands just don't work right or they don't allow you to just to do that and they don't make it as hard. You have to push really hard or something like that. This, again, I'll do it one more time, is really just that simple. And you can go completely flat if you want and you know we can bring it back up just like that. So this wraps up our basic overview of Lenovo's Idea Center Horizon. Make sure you stay tuned as we're gonna have a follow-up video which will show you some of the really cool things that the Horizon can do. And remember to check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review of this product. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.